Before we start, I'd like to uh, just uh, tell you a few setup things before we start the CC3D controller. Before you do this, you want to make sure you have your radio programmed uh, and bound to your receiver. Uh, I have my radio programmed with channel 1 being aileron, 2 elevator, 3 throttle, 4 rudder, and 5 is the mode switch. You'll also need to uh, wire up the CC3D controller to your receiver um, using uh, the wiring schematic in this picture. If you have Now let's get started going through the video. First we're going to click on the Vehicle Setup Wizard, uh, click Upgrade, this will update the firmware to the latest version, make sure it's all talking nicely between uh, the software program here and uh, your CC3D board. It takes a little while, uh, loads it, reboots, does a few things, so we'll wait here. You can see in the bottom right corner your uh, your connection, and we have nothing on our TX and RX. Oh, now it's uh, uh, talking again, and now we can click next. There's just a picture of the board, and we click next, and it uh, reboots again for some reason. We're gonna pick uh, PWM. I'm using one wire per channel. Uh, pick the fixed wing, pick uh, single servo, and then pick 50 hertz. And here's our wiring diagram for that setup. <clears throat> you can save the wiring diagram to your computer, uh, so you can uh, review it later if you like, or just close it. Moving on. Okay, now we're going to do some setup. At this point, you want to plug in your battery, um, of your ailerons and the center. And centering is important. You want to uh, adjust the center lo location to where the plane flies, nicely trimmed uh, without the flight controller in there. So if you have a little bit of aileron trimmed in, you want to make sure that you replicate that with the centering. Um, same thing with the elevator. That's what I had to do because my uh, uh, nose wanted to drop a little bit uh, in my flight, so I had to come back and actually recenter it with a little bit of up elevator uh, centered in. So what you don't see here is the actual control surfaces moving on the plane uh, while I am uh, adjusting these servos. So you actually are uh, doing this live. Uh, same with the rudder. Uh, if you have a little bit of trim on your rudder, getting it to fly right, um, then you want to center that in that position so that without any control, it's flying nice and straight. <clears throat> All right, moving on, just click Next, and then you're going to save. That's the end of the wizard. After the wizard, we have a few more things to adjust. Um, and we'll go through that. Next is the transmitter wizard. So here I had a couple little problems, uh, uh, but uh, I'll explain that as I go through. So it's going to switch to always disarmed. Just a note that uh, it always has to be disarmed if it's going to save any changes. So now it's going to lead you through moving your sticks. Uh, so once you set up all your modes and things, it's going to uh, so move your throttle stick, move your aileron stick, it recognizes it, your elevator, your rudder, um, and that's fine. And also there's your flight mode. Move your flight mode switch and it'll know which one. Now I don't have any accessories, so I just click next, next through all those. So do what it says, center everything, and click next. Uh, and then move everything around and so it sees that uh, your extensive travel on all your sticks. Yep, yeah, there's the flight mode, everything. So click next. 
Now check your movements. When I moved my rudder to the right, the stick on the screen actually went left, so I had to switch the yaw. See, I just clicked the button at the top. <clears throat> Everything else is moving correctly. When I move my sticks, the picture is moving the same way. That's all done. I'm still always disarmed. I need to be disarmed if it's going to save any settings. So make sure you are disarmed until you're finished all your settings. <clears throat> I'm just looking at this, really no changes here. Uh, the level. Uh, make sure the CC3 board is mounted in your plane and that it is sitting level. And then this will record the level location if it's slightly tilted inside your plane then this will record that that is actually the level position. Save it. Um, just looking at this and then I remember oh yeah I gotta fix my uh, mode settings. So back to uh, modes and in the normal mode I'm flying a manual so no control from the flight controller at all and I've only got a two position switch. So only setting up modes 1 and 3, position 1 and 3. And in 3 I want to have uh, attitude mode and in rudder just manual. Um, actually maybe a correction, the rudder should probably be in rate mode. manual won't get any uh, rudder stabilization. Here I'm just softening up a little bit the uh, the uh, responsiveness. I found it a little jittery so I'm just going to try that see if that uh, smoothens it out a little tiny bit. <clears throat> Besides that it worked good with the uh, default settings. Again nothing to do here just looking. If you go to your flight data you can see it moving around. You can also see that it's disarmed because I haven't uh, change that from always disarmed. So before I leave I've got to go back and, and uh, arm it. So I'm switching to always armed. Uh, that way when I raise the stick it goes. But you could do um, you know down to the left or down to the right same way you would do with a multi-rotor if you wanted to. So that's it. I'm done. I'm saved. Finished.